So, I'm scared of eating carbs, Matt. That was a question I got last week in a seminar. And it came from the fact she was following a low-carb approach from the body coach, which does work for some people. I mean, I'm a fan of low-carb diets, just like I'm a fan of higher-carb diets. But I'm more of a fan of the diet that fits your lifestyle, fits your family life, your work, your commitments, because you'll be more likely to stick to it. Because based on the research... And my experience working with others who have you know, got more energy, dropped a few dress sizes, feel more confident, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter whether you're doing low fat or low carb. You know, Whatever anyone says about low carb diets helping you burn more fat, it really doesn't matter if you can't stick to it. In fact, it might just end up draining your willpower and result in binging and yo-yo dieting again getting in that vicious cycle of diet starts Monday. Because it complicates our lives even more, right? I mean, we have to make so many decisions anyway. It could be kids, changing nappies, um, shopping, the, the boss wants a piece of work done for five o'clock, whatever it is. So trying to stick to a diet that leaves us craving the foods we love, eating separately from our family, is all we need, right? So... It's why, rather than focusing on bad foods and good foods, I prefer to focus on setting up your environment to win, so you can make better informed, more intelligent decisions about our food choices that fit with our lifestyle and family. And it's why I've put together the seven habits of females who've thrown away their baggy clothes without spending hours in the gym, or giving up their favourite foods, chocolate, prosecco, wine, whatever, because it's all about flexibility, you can fit it in. Okay, and if you want to learn more, click the link in the description. But I will share with you one now. So their kitchens are not junk food buffets. Okay, in other words, out of sight, out of mind. If you come in for a long day, you're feeling tired, a bit hungry, dinner's still not ready, or you don't know what to cook, would you pinch a few sweets left on the side? And if your answer is no, then that would still take a massive chunk of our willpower, right? And then later on, we may just go, oh, yeah, I'm going to grab that now. And just That's why I recommend that you have a snack cupboard. Okay, so put all your so-called junk food, your chocolate, sweets, in one cupboard. So at least then, when you innocently open a cupboard and go to grab, I don't know, some rice that you're going to boil, there's not some... Biscuits there, some chocolates there, some nuts there that are just so easy to grab. And even if you're not grabbing them, subconsciously you might just be going, oh no, I better not, better not. And it's another decision that you're having to make that's draining our willpower. So at least if you have a snack cupboard, if you want to have that snack, you go in and you go and get it. At least it's a mindful, conscious decision that is a bit more informed so that it has less consequences where you're stood there eating the tub of ice cream out of the tub and that's another thing when you do go to the snack cupboard just make sure you serve it in a bowl okay and don't eat it out of the tub before you know it it's kind of gone so just pick how much you want put it in a bowl put it away and get out the kitchen basically so for the other six habits of females who've thrown away their baggy clothes without spending hours in the gym or giving up carbs or giving up prosecco wine whatever just click the link and i'll send it over to you Take care. Any questions, comment below and let me know.